Uh, greetings, everybody. Now remember, this is uh, these are duplicate studies. Uh, I'm posting these under Genesis, but on the pl Genesis playlist. But they're already on the Dreams and Vision playlist, so it's it's the same study. I'm just redoing it. So uh, just keep that in mind. All right, take care. All righty, turn your book, King James Bible to Genesis chapter 40. This is the continuation of the dreams and visions series so this is chaplain bob walker light of the world ministries in john 8 12 jesus said i am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life all right well the ishmaelites the midianites uh, took joseph that his brethren had sold him into slavery he became the servant of Potiphar. Potiphar's wife took a, uh, a liking to the lad. I mean, you know. And uh, she tried to seduce him. And he told her no. And then, uh, you ever heard the expression, uh, hell hath no fury but a woman scorned? Well, guess what? She couldn't have him, so what did she do? She uh, falsely accused him of trying to rape her. So, you know, the thing is, um, the captain of the guard, Potiphar, you know, he, you know, he was probably no dummy. He probably noticed his wife checking out Joseph and uh, probably figured, yeah, you know, he probably uh, probably had respect more for Joseph than he did his wife, but in order to save face, you know, he had him put in prison. Because, you know, if he would have believed that he tried to rape his wife, you know, he'd have probably ha uh, put it, uh, arranged for him to be put to death. I mean, all he had to do was go to Pharaoh and say, hey, the guy tried to rape my wife, and, you know, Pharaoh, I'm sure, would agree, you know, captain of the guard, you know, one of his most trusted servants. But uh, I'm sure Potiphar didn't believe her because, you know, women like that have wandering eyes and don't think the guys don't notice these things. So, so he's in prison. He's in the jail. And uh, so let's, let's hear about the dream. Genesis chapter 40 and verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. And he put them in ward in the house of the captain of the guard, into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he served them, and they continued a season in ward. And they dreamed a dream, both of them, each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? So I guess, uh, what do they call that uh, when you're an, an honor inmate? You have a lot of privileges. That's what it looks like here with Joseph. It looks like he has free reign of the prison house. You know, I, I don't know what they call that. Uh, an honored inmate. Um, I forget what they call it, but he's got, it looks like he's got free reign of the prison. Wherefore you, uh, look ye so sadly today? And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter interpreter of it and joseph said unto them do not interpretations belong to god 
Tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph, and he said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And in the vine were three branches, and it was uh, uh, and it was as though it budded, and her blossom shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place, and thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thou wast his butler. But think on me. So listen to this. He says, But think on me when it shall be well with thee, and show kindness, I pray thee, unto me, and make mention of me unto Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house. So, in other words, plead my case to Pharaoh and get me out of here. That's the Bob translation. Verse 15. For indeed I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews, and here also have I done nothing that they should put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head. And in the uppermost basket there was of all manner of baked meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. Boy, that doesn't sound too good, huh? And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again, and he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. And he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them, and yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him, forgot him. Now, um, like I say, I got a playlist on uh, the life of Joseph. Uh, later on, I think it was Joe, uh, Pharaoh had a dream, and then uh, the the butler heard about it and told Pharaoh, "Hey, uh, this guy Joseph in the jail, he uh, he interprets dreams." And uh, and then he interprets a dream for Pharaoh. Joseph does, and then uh, he becomes I forget what the second or third ruler in the kingdom. You know, that would have been interesting to uh, to be the second or third ruler in the kingdom and the uh, the captain of the guard would have to report to Joseph. You know, the guy whose wife accused him of rape, the captain of the guard that put him in prison, has to report to Joseph. Uh, that would have been an interesting uh, conversation, you know. But I'm sure... I'm sure Joseph uh, held no ill feelings and probably, you know, had respect to Potiphar for, you know, uh, the Lord blessed everything in Potiphar's hand for Joseph's sake. And I'm sure Joseph uh, treated him well, you know. I mean, what are you going to do when your wife accuses somebody of doing something? You know, even though you don't believe her, uh, I guess you do something just to, like I say, to save face. I don't know. But uh, that's not in the Bible. That's just the Bob theory, I guess you could say. Bob has a few theories, but I don't tell you too many of them because they're just theories, you know. 
All righty, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.